Adventures RPG game. <laughs> I might have been dated if you're just joining us. Uh, we got Jim. We got Mike. We got Rick. We got Nick. Rick and Nick. Mm. <laughs> That's the way it happens. Zoom our Star Trek Adventures game. Last time on Star Trek Adventures. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so we fade back in. Uh, I'm going to pull... Uh, no, you should not change No, anything. No, you should not. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it would be funny. Uh, so we fade, we fade back in. Uh, everybody, everybody's all together now. Like everybody's, um, I'm going to move everybody into, hold on. I got to go find y'all. I should have done this beforehand. Uh, okay. Ah! On man down. <laughs> so that is not the button to press. Call a medic. <coughs> okay, so right, I'm still Rick, waiting. Stop sending me stuff. <laughs> We're sending each other awesome, disgusting oh, memes. Okay. Uh, I need a break. I need one uh, second. I'm getting called. Okay, good. Ooh, that's where we at. Move this. Yeah. I love panning. Yeah, that's all the folks we have. Okay. So everybody is uh, back in in science, uh, science and medical. Uh, unless you guys want to be down in engineering, this actually for Mike's solution, engineering might be a better place. Now that I think about it, you guys want to head the, down the there turbo, to the bad cave. The turbo, the yeah, the, the turbo lift works again. So. Did you just zoom recording? Uh, can I hear you, Thanir? Oh. Did you resume? Did you resume recording? Did I? Yes. Okay. I had a weird like. Moment. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put engineering and oh. bring okay. you guys down. Going down. Nice. Does loving a turbo lift work? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> loving a turbo lift. Going down. Too funny. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're waiting for Nick to get back. Mm hmm. Oh. I mean, so we can we can play around it. Um. Okay, so everybody's down in engineering to include one uh, Commander Johansson. And. Uh, We've got everybody around consoles. Uh, Commander Johansson kind of standing off to the side. Commander Johansson, Commander Thanir, uh, and what did uh, I miss? Commander Saul. Uh, you're all in engineering. That's all you missed. And Commander okay. Saul are kind of turbo lift. Turbo lift that works. Remember, Mike fixed it. Oh, that's right. Yep. So you God guys, damn, Mike. <laughs> so you You're three awesome. are off, kind of, kind of to the side, um, while everybody else is. Is at hard at work at consoles, and we will start there. All right. All righty. And then, so yeah, did you guys want to saw? Do you did you want to do anything with Commander Johansson? <laughs> <laughs> well, either either one of you two. Just um, that's yeah. why I put him there. Pull a train. Hanson, I think we might figured out what's going on here. I was going to say, Commander Thorne, do you want to join me in uh, speaking with Commander Johansson? Maybe distract him while I uh, do a brief scan. We had a thought, but we'd like to um, we'd like to know if uh, we could uh, inoculate uh, the rest of the station personnel against radiation. I I think that would be would be wise. Okay, so you're doing your scan. Uh, your scan yes. doesn't show anything more than than high blood pressure, uh, the, the common common stuff with stress. Commander, um, <coughs> you noticed any strange behavior among your crew as of late? 
No, not that I can I can say. Uh, Have you yourself been under a, a more than a more than average deal of stress, Commander? Would it's you... it. <clears throat> we've we've had a a rough couple months. Yes. Okay. At this point, are we? Uh, Discussing with your hands about our findings. Uh, so he's uh, in coming down to engineering. He's up to date on everything that that that's going on. Okay. So yes, um, we're thinking that we are going to uh, lure the creatures back to the star. Mm-hmm. This I. I I agree. I think this is a great plan. Yeah. There's been some debate as to exactly how to do that. Though. Mm, I'm listening. Well, I thought about using the Douglas. Mm-hmm. I mean, we'd lose it. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure that, that we can get uh, we could get Captain Captain Ma back over here once we get rid of these uh, these life forms. Uh, we'll have long-range communication back up, and we should be able to hail the T'Pau. The other thought was um, a little crazier. Mm -hmm. but be more of a guarantee, being that the station's power signature, even even at low power levels, is uh, not quite down to the level of a Type 8 shuttlecraft. We'd have to, we'd have to shut down the entire station, or find another working shuttlecraft in order to get our power levels up to that uh, to that point. It's not 100%. But other idea was launching a solar flare at the station. Excuse me? <laughs> Commander, do you well, understand this is my first command and, and you, you well, want to send a solar flare at this station? Well, if 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 we, can, if we can get make sure that the, a the shields can, will 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 go up uh, and hold, then uh, the solar flare should be uh, should the station should be protected from the solar flare. However, the solar flare will provide a nice trail of breadcrumbs for the organisms to follow back to the star, which would solve our power and uh, you know breathable air problem. Yes, those are problems indeed. But but it's, you're sure that we can shield the station? We're ninety percent. I I have to check your equipment, but I'm 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 confident that that I can do it with the help of your team. I have the I have the full confidence in Commander Max's ability. To shield this. I did. Commander, you understand what's at at, at stake here. This, this, we are. This is. If I mean, matter. Our choices are to die now or die later. But as of right now, unless Captain unless Captain Ma decides to come back looking for us. But oh, he, that. He, he, yeah, he, no, no, I I don't count on that at all. We're gonna run out of air before our ship returns. I've mm. done so much to keep this station together so that I, we can get through this and you want to send a solar flare right at it. Just a little one. <laughs> <laughs> but, but also, Commander, if you think about it, yes, it's a risk to the integrity of the station, but it would solve our power problem. So even if the station is unsalvageable at the end, we can evacuate the crew. With one shuttle? Once Captain we would, returns. We would be able to hail the Tapau, and Captain Ma will be able to assist at that point. All this faith in Captain Ma. Ugh. This is 
Always bugged me at the academy. Everybody puts their faith in Captain Ma. <sighs> Are you alright, Commander? Captain Ma is no different from any other captain. It's just that there's a ship with hmm. space for our station complement. We all have a duty to Starfleet, Johansson. I mean, clearly, you can put whatever past differences aside. Hmm. All right. It's all right. Not a competition. All right. Let's do this. We'll 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 do it your way. But so help me, Thanir, if this goes wrong, I'm taking you down with me. If this goes wrong, I accept full responsibility, Commander. You don't have to take me down. If this goes if wrong, we may not be around. And pull yourself together. If this goes wrong, we may not be around. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said it would be a small. What was that? Max? I didn't hear that. Max. <laughs> really crunchy? <laughs> I thought I paw I thought I hit mute. Okay. <laughs> Crusty. <laughs> the crunchified uh, uh, episode of 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 Trek Adventures. Right. <laughs> All right, Damn so, true. so in a fit, he's you. You see him turn just beat red, and through his white hair, like it looks extra highlighted with his his uh, platinum blonde hair, and he he walks off. And as he's walking off, Commander, I will be in operations. Do what you need to do. We promise we won't destroy the station. Uh huh. Yep. And he actually he hits the turbo lift and, and heads up. Well, that went better than expected. Well, if it got any worse, I could always have relieved him of duty. I'm sure that would have gone over just as well. Remember what has happened. Sal, remember. We're on a station filled with a crew that is loyal to command to, to Commander Johansson. If he wants to, if he wants to countermand that order, there is a chief medical officer, three decks above us, who can do it, along with an entire medical staff. That's true, and they had the same opinion we did. That he seemed very, uh, well, making very unusual decisions the last few months. Their faith in him is not what it was, uh -huh. and clearly we just witnessed a little bit of that. Well. Let's, let's see. I'd rather do this with him than without him. Gentlemen, if I, I may, I'm as suspicious as the next person, but he has not done anything outside of regulations. He has not done anything to compromise the safety of this station or its crew that we are aware of. It's based on vague suspicions, and I think we need to follow protocol. That's exactly why I want him on board. He's a Starfleet Agreed. officer, and he's been doing his duty. But that doesn't mean we don't keep an eye on him. Oh, hell yes. Nice. Okay, so you guys want to kick into sending this probe into the into the <coughs> sun? Well, um, first of all, <coughs> I think we need to. I need to check the status of the station's shields. Uh, okay, so you you hop on a console. Uh, you're starting to get Would that be him or me, since I'm operations? Hmm, okay. I'll I'm, I'm just asking, which would be smart? Uh, just, because, just because Mike's been down in engineering, he's familiar with it. Or excuse me, okay. Commander Rank. You can assist. You can assist. Okay. okay. Uh, so I'm not going to give you a test for this. This is, uh, okay. you, you fly through it. Uh, the shield should be fine once power is fully restored. The shield should be fine to uh, withstand... A large solar flare. Cool. Max, make sure the build is done to fly on that probe. It's better that we have to try again than, you know, fry ourselves. Out of character for a second. Uh huh. Fire the laser! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I think I figured out an easier way. We get sharks with lasers on their head. 
<laughs> we have, unfortunately, sharks are now on the endangered species list. So, um, uh, we have sea bass. Are they ill-tempered? <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. I love that movie so yes. much. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. Uh, back, back, back to the... Aha, uh -huh. okay. And... For those uh, listening on Trek Radio, Jim is furiously doing calculations. He has a slide roll out and an abacus. Uh-huh, and an abacus. As well as some sort of, as well as some sort of uh, contraption that goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he's playing a ther what is that a thermian? What is that? <coughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> theremin. That's what you're theremin. looking for. Theremin. Okay, so we are at our second extended task. You guys are going to try and create a solar flare to lure the babies away, uh, at the same time dropping the engine power so they don't find your teat. As attractive as the next. Oh, um, <clears throat> Commander Johansson, should you warn your crew we're about to ignite a solar flare? Uh, he's gone. He's up, up in ops. Yeah, he's up in ops. But one, it's safe to assume that he's bracing the com the crew for impact or for and what's happening we can, and cursing our names. We can make the announcement. From engine. First, I got to make a phone call. Okay, like. Oh. Don't air to the sh don't air to the shuttle bay. Go ahead, Commander. Uh, if you could do us a very very large favor and uh, shut down all power to uh, the different shuttlecrafts, uh, including the ones that are currently uh, damaged, that would be very helpful. I Commander, right on it. Thank you. Let us know when it's done. Hmm. Okay, so she's working on that. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so this is going to be extended task like before. Uh, and the first thing we need to do is uh, program the targeting on the uh, the probe to actually rock it out and hit the sun. And that's going to be... Uh, Nick, I think you're going to be best suited for this. Okay. Uh, it's going to be reason plus security with a difficulty of two... Reason plus security is a 15. Okay. So, and keep <coughs> keep in mind, you do have four momentum, you have your determination, all of that. So, task, correct? Mm-hmm. Task would do it. Okay. What do we have? Six and 18. Okay, so you have one success. You need another. You can... Uh, spend one or spend two momentum to roll an extra d20 after after the fact, or you can give me one threat, which is the GM's version of momentum, <coughs> to get to get one extra die. I'll let you decide. Don't do it. It's a trap. <laughs> uh, I'd go with the momentum. All right, I'll go with momentum then. Okay. So you can so roll one more, and you're going under 15, right? Yes. Okay. Now you can use these last two momentum, or you can give me threat. You're, uh, so for, for, for story's sake, you're, uh, you're on the console, and you've got... And you've got an itch on the back of your ear that you keep screwing with. That is, uh, it just won't go away. So you're not able to uh, work as fast as you you normally do. The smell of the dead bodies is throwing mm. me off. <sighs> Threat or momentum? I should go with How many threat. How the game? One. one. But it's uh, so I gain one threat. So my threat level or my threat count would go up to eleven, or your moment, your group momentum would go down to zero. <coughs> threat. Or you can, or you could use a point of determination that would give you an instant two successes. Very interesting. 
the, the determination would also end up giving us an extra momentum, correct? Yes, that would give you an extra momentum. That sounds better. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to use... So, uh, with your veteran talent, whenever you use a, a point of determination, you get to re or you get to roll one challenge dice to see if you get to keep it. Okay, so is that what I'm rolling right now? Is the vet, the challenge dice? Yes, the one challenge dice. Okay. You do not get to keep it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so you use your your determination. You guys have one extra momentum. So this is just the entry fee to get to get at the task to to do damage on it. I can't look. <laughs> so you're finally able to to that itch stops bothering you and you're able to get both both hands back on the uh back on the console you're programming through and now you need to to really lay in, you're laying in the coordinates uh and the the trajectory okay so go ahead and roll you said we did your security mm -hmm. so that's that's a five right Yes. Okay, so roll five challenge dice. Do do that. Wow. Okay. You are able to <coughs> now that that itch is no longer bothering you. <laughs> bam! It's done. The the path is laid in. It's going to leave a trail along the or it's gonna you know light up along the way and head into that into that sun to create that solar flare. My apologies for the, uh, for my miscalculation at first, gentlemen. Okay, and so, so with the research that everybody's talking about and all that, uh, Commander Saul, you noticed that everybody keeps wondering, like, how they need to go that extra little mile to get, to, to, uh, make the target sweet enough to start trailing him away so that you can get them off the station before the solar flare hits and you know you can get shields up before the solar flare, flare hits and you uh you you come up with an idea too uh because these seem to be feeding like uh like most biological life forms where they're they're uh, spitting back something that's uh that's too much <coughs> so you think to sweeten sweeten the energy source to, uh, okay. to work together some kind of uh, uh, energy reading um, but mixed with your medical your medical and science kind of backgrounds to uh, essentially sweeten the milk on the probe okay, okay so your portion of this is going to be control yeah control plus or no we're gonna go reason plus medicine or plus medical okay so that's a 14. Okay, and you have a difficulty three task uh, to get there. Was that task <coughs> plus three? What's that? Is that task or task plus three? So task, so the difficulty level is the number of successes you need. Task, okay. you're rolling two dice. Task one plus one, you're rolling three dice. Task plus two, okay. four dice. Task okay. plus three is five dice. Okay, so in this case, it's just task plus <laughs> desire <laughs> right unless you have anything on uh, any talents that would help you out or any you want to spend any momentum but you got so you got two successes there okay uh you need three all right so, so do i have anything that would help uh, so you have your determination point you that have gives us two successes and one of them can be converted into momentum exactly uh, you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can take tool out of the group momentum pool to add one die, or you can give me one threat to, uh, remove, or to okay. add a die. Should we do the two momentum crew, or should we uh, do that? Use your determination. Okay, let's do a determination. Okay, I'm going to use your determination. So you have four successes, so you have one momentum. Do you want to use that? Uh, I assume you want to put that towards the group pool? Yeah. Okay. Do that. And I'm going to knock down your determine. You're not a veteran, are you? 
No, I'm an experienced officer. Okay. All right. <coughs> okay, so you have four success. Uh, what is your medical? Five. Five. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna roll five challenges. So you're, you've got the you've got the basic idea in your head. You just need to put it on, put it into the console and onto the probe. Okay, so five challenge dice. That's correct. Got it. Okay, so you have four now. If you use one momentum point, you can bump that to a five, and that will get you five in one roll moves you through that breakthrough. Uh, well, let's do that because we gained him at them earlier. So that okay, yeah. Otherwise, you have to go through the whole task, the the barrier of entry right. again. Okay, so do. you do that to go up to plus five. So you're able to uh, program it into the probe to for the probe to kind of leak a little bit of that that sweet uh, sweet sweet energy that it that the babies are craving uh, along their trajectory to the sun. <coughs> okay. The next thing that you guys need to do is simultaneously launch, uh, launch the probe and power down the fusion core. And Mike, I think you would, so this is control plus engineering. I have a feeling Mike's going to be our, our star on this one. Yep. Do that right now. What's that? <clears throat> that's, that's, that's where I come in. Fire oh. the probe. Oh, nice. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so fire the probe. So the while well, you're doing your part, Mike, uh, powering down the fusion, we're gonna assume, or we're just gonna story will launch the probe, or we'll have uh, Lieutenant Kaylee launch the probe. All right. Okay. So your task is gonna be control plus engineering, difficulty of three. And I'm going to use a threat point, and I'm going to make it a difficulty of four. Oh. Wait, what? I have no determination, correct? That is correct. Mm. You, do <laughs> have, <laughs> you do have people, you can, I mean, you can give me more threat. <clears throat> um, you can have assistance. People can assist you, or you can spend the spend momentum. What do you guys think? Any assistance? The other thing that would be the Our cheapest. Powering down. Let's see. And wow, you have the talent fusion reactors. So whatever your engineering is, five and below is a critic uh, critical success. So five and below. Uh huh. Okay. Um. So I, I will say this, if anybody steps in to assist, you need to tell me uh, storyline, how you're assisting, and then what uh, what two skills you're using. What attribute and what, um, what the hell is it called? The attribute and the discipline. Max is firing the probe right now. <coughs> he's I'm powering down the fusion reactor. He's trying to, he needs to power down the fusion reactor. I think Jerv should help. Um, as ops, he could he can monitor you know power levels and you know make sure that things are being shut down in the proper order without uh, damaging them. While I actually go through the shutdown sequence. And my engineering is only a two. But if you so if you can come up with a way that it meets security or oh. science or Ooh. command, um, yeah, you my can use a three. <coughs> So you can use those if you can make that explanation, like make that case. Well, like it, you could say a control and command would be, uh, would be an effective combination. Because you're you're talking about something in the moment covers precision, accuracy, careful timing, and then command uh, is kind of coordinating and uh, coordinating efforts. So that's one assist. Well, okay. Go ahead. Would my technical expertise fall into this? 
Because aren't the sensors part of this? Whenever a tempest task assisted by the ship's computers or sensors, you may reroll. No, this is not a task assisted by the ship. Okay. Okay, what you got? The near you said technical advice. Whenever you assist another character by providing technical information, the character you assisted may reroll one d twenty. So if you want to assist, um, I'm gonna say uh, reason. Your reason plus command would be a way to you're coordinating. You're kind of dictating this, that, and the other thing if you wanted to. So. If you to do that, you would be up to four. <coughs> you'd be up to four total D twenty. Alrighty. Um, and we need four. Mm -hmm. Do we need three or four? Because four. I, of the fusion reactor. Four successes. Wow. So you'll you need four successes, okay. but because you have fusion reactor as a focus, anything that you roll that is five and under is okay. a critical critical success, and that'll okay. give you two successes. Sal? Uh, I've got a talent called Doctor's Orders. When you attempt to task to coordinate others or course someone to take you, or refraining in, from a specific course of action, you may use your medical discipline instead of command. Um, that would be useful. Okay. Applied. Okay. Um, and we're going to use... What are, uh, let's, let's use reason. Yeah, your reason plus your medical on that. So you have three assisting now. That'll be five, yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry. So, so five plus nine is a fourteen. Task plus three. So you'll roll task, and then well, okay. yeah. Let's if everybody's okay with letting Mike roll all of them. Task plus three. Is everybody cool yeah. with Mike rolling all yeah. five? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So task plus three. Here we go. I cannot see you sit one of them. Uh, okay, they just showed yeah. up for me. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have three successes and two critical successes. So five, six, seven. You have seven successes. So you have That's three extra momentum to, to play. Yes! That is a team. That is a team effort, guys. Thank you. Good, okay, good work. Okay, so you have... I had some experience shutting on shutting down fusion reactors on McKinley Station. Grill. Clearly. <laughs> okay, so you're you've got everything everything lined up. Everything is uh, is in order despite the uh, the creatures there are messing with things. Oh my goodness! Why is that? It's being silly. Okay. Ah, uh, so now you have to roll your challenge dice, which should be five. For your mm -hmm. engineering uh, to get past this this hurdle. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, so you have four. One more. You have three momentum kind of floating right now. <coughs> you can use one of them to push it over the top to get through this breakthrough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So you now have two floating momentum for this. Uh, so you're able to... <coughs> So you're able to power down, uh, power down the the system, but you did it so well and so efficiently. You powered it down before the probe actually launched. So the station is without power, but you now need somebody to go launch manually launch the probe. I'm guessing that would be me, right? Uh, to manually launch the probe. This is going to be daring plus command with a difficulty of four. My daring command comes out to a 12. Daring and command is 12. Soren? I do. I can assist uh, the command. Soner? Thoner? Thor? Thanir? Thanir? <laughs> Thor. Daring and command. Because your command's probably really high, right? No? Well, uh, yeah, my command's high. Yeah. What's your daring? My daring is 12. Oh, wow. Shit. Wow. And what's your command? Uh, four. Yeah, it's him. 16, yeah. please. <laughs> um, I have... Please. 
so, I have advisor. Whenever you assist another character using your command di uh, discipline, the character being assisted may reroll one d twenty. Okay, so, I will. I will allow that. Alright, so what what am I rolling? So what you're so for story's sake, you're you you realize that you've gotta go crawl into it uh one of the, the hatchways and get over to manually launch the probe from inside uh that that launch tube. Be careful, Commander. If I conk one of my antennas on the Jeffrey's tube, I'm gonna be super pissed. <laughs> Join the club. They're doing amazing <laughs> things with 3D tech, 3D printing these days, Commander. <laughs> okay, so I'm only going to let Mike assist on this one because he has to crawl into a tunnel and only one person can talk to him at a time yeah. for assisting. So you're at three dice. <laughs> Let's see. Do, do, do. Courageous. Oh, look at it. So you have field repairs as as a focus and I'm going to let that one go as as a focus for this um, because you're you're having to manually do something that is normally very much automated uh, so I'm going to consider that a repair Yay. so you will get um, anything your command is 4 or 5 a uh, 4 cool. okay so you will have anything a 4 or lower will be a critical success you are right now at 3d20. <coughs> now again, you do have threat and momentum, and I believe you still have determination. Hmm. Well, seeing as if we don't do this, I'm going to die. <laughs> uh, I am very determined, so I'm, I'm going to use a point of determination. How many successes do I need? You need four successes. So you already have two with you using your point of determination. So we need two more. Uh, yeah, and you have three dice to do it, and you will get to re-roll re -roll one of them. Okay. Whatever the lowest is, if you want to. Or well, well, the highest. highest. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it's 3d20, and I need to win four. Right. So, well, so you already no. have two. You need to win two. And you're doing task plus one. Um... Can I get any help? That is the help. That is the help. Okay. You and I were were, were in a in a, in the launch tube together. So you've got you've got three Cozy. dice and the ability to re-roll one of them to get below sixteen. Mm -hmm. you, you, it's doable. Odds are in your favor. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it. Whoo! Cuts it close. All right. That's a that, crit. That is a crit. Oh, look at that. The 15 is a success. The 9 is a success. So you have two. You've built up two extra momentum that are floating in the ether. So you're crawling through the tubes. You hear <coughs> you hear Commander Max telling you to watch out for that, uh, that cross beam as you're crawling through. Uh, your antenna does nick it, though. <coughs> Mother... You're crawling through, and now you're so you're at where the probe needs to be launched. You're at that. Uh, it's like hitting your balls, isn't it? At that panel, uh, you've popped it open, and now you need to actually pull the lever. So you, lever. your command was four. Yes. Okay, so you're gonna roll four challenge dice. And what's he need to get? Uh, so five or greater. To keep from having to re-enter with the task, okay, uh, the task barrier. Okay. Five, five, five. All right. Can I do anything to improve my odds, or? I uh, after the you fact have two you can, momentum you, floating around. Yeah, you have two floating momentum that you'll be able to play with. Now, do Mike and him both have two momentum, or no. is, so? So it's just yes. two total. Just two total. So you can use two momentum to bump that up to four. And if you... Well, no, even then... Okay, so that's... If you bump it up to four, you get closer to completing the project altogether. All right, can I get an assist? Would that would that put me up above? Uh, no, there is no assist for this part of it. Is he able to access any other momentum? 
Unfortunately, no. Okay. Just the floating stuff. So you may. So do you want to use your floaty momentum to make progress? Uh, I'm gonna have to. Okay. So as hold you on, are, hold on. I, okay. Uh, question before we uh, proceed. Okay. Um, we have to basically restart the task, right? Yes. If we restart the task with two floating momentum, meaning that we don't use it right now to bump that up, what, what happens to those two floating momentum? So the floating momentum will end or will will no longer be flo floating before the before the next task starts. So, so they, they have to they have to be committed. So okay. we can add them to our pool mm -hmm. or use them now on a, a known task that's going to fail anyways. Well, so it's not going to fail. You've made progress. You've still oh. made progress against it because it's, so, it has a total progress tracker of 10. If you get, so three different tasks, you know, rolling it like at three and four, you'll be, you'll get past it just the same. It just takes more time. And I'm not, speaking of time, I've not been updating Okay, this. so... So have you, been, um, have you been recording again, Jim? Yes, I have. Okay. Just to make sure I understand, um, so we this this turn if he uses the momentum the four uh, out of a task of five, right? So next time all we need is the one. No, no. For, so or, five, the five is the if you get five all in one roll, it's a mm -hmm. breakthrough. It's just like when you're fighting somebody. If you roll five, if you score five on the challenge dice. That person's automatically injured. It's the same kind of thing. If you roll five, <coughs> it's it, it's a bonus six, six at like it clears you all the way through it. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't hit that five marker, you have to reattempt the task. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, on the second attempt, do we have to roll the five again? No. So you uh, so if you roll the five again, it's an instant success. If you roll four again or less, um, it would make more progress and you would have to do the task a third time. So the further progress you make on it, the better. Now, how much progress does one have to make in order to... 10. Oh, so on we this would... One. Yeah, yeah, this one's a 10. 10 all together. Uh-huh. Okay. So... And we would be currently at four if we use the two momentum now. Uh-huh. Okay. But All if right. you roll five the next time you get started. It's done. It's done. Yeah. What if what if we don't use our momentum and we roll let's say a four and we use the momentum the second time that we do it? Only to if add you more have, only if you had the momentum to do it. If if you <laughs> go back and start over from the beginning again, the momentum goes away. Yeah. Well you can commit you can commit one of them to your group pool. Right. So I could I could theoretically add one to this uh, to this number, and then take the other one and add it to the group pool for the next time that we roll the challenge. Right. right. That so that'll help you. That would get you um, the ability to roll extra dice for every two momentum. I, I, I like that idea. What do you guys? Think? Yeah. One more quick yeah. question. Uh -huh. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but That's okay. just to make sure I understand. Um, so. If he stashes another momentum for the pool, that gives us a chance of three additional die, right? If he decided to use it all. Yes, if he decided to use it all, that would give you three extra die. Um, that would leave us with no momentum, no more momentum after that. However, my question is, is there another task after this? <laughs> That's a great question. And I do have all this beautiful threat. I know. That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. So... Um, Okay, I just wanted to make sure Donier had all of the information he needed in order to properly make this decision. Well, it's I a mean, command decision. <laughs> we could we could take one momentum, use it towards this roll to get okay. three, just so we can increase. This two's kind of dismal, and then take the other momentum so that if we're let's say one short, we can get to five. So you won't be able to use your momentum on. You, so, you won't be able to use group momentum on making the one, the progress. You can only use momentum you've earned from the task. Okay, so if 
he, if I try to roll a challenge die again, I won't have the momentum from this roll? No, you will not. So I lose it. It gets mm-hmm. added to the pool, which you can use for starting. You can use for extra D twenties later on for something else. No, you can use it for for re-entry into this task. We have to start this this task over again. Oh, so we do already. We have to start it over again anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Then I'm not going to spend it because we. Okay, gonna so you're going to use it on the. You're going to throw it into the group pool. The odds. The odds of getting such a low number again. I mean. It, <laughs> but you know okay so yeah cause we only we only need a 5 and you need, if you yeah, get a 4 we're challenge. still at a 6 so an, a roll of 4 on a third roll would be good right and well he did use one momentum for progress on this one so you, you actually you would be at 9 okay yeah and I can uh, keep assisting, so you're going to roll yep. uh, a third, a third die. So you have three die to roll. So, so the the crunchy part of this, you have three die to roll. You have six momentum. You can buy up to three more die, three more d20 for the task. But for and story, need, for role play purposes, oh, go ahead, Mike. Oh, we need four successes to get past this part, right? Yes, you need four successes to get past this part. Uh, no, uh wait. Two because he had the the, the special he, focus. No, the no, 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 no. That's determination. He had the two successes oh. success from the determination. Okay. The focus just bumps up his critical success. Okay. Sorry, my mistake. No worries. Okay, so for role play purposes, uh, for story, you're uh, you crawl through. You open it up. You grab on to the lever, but it is it is jammed, and you now have to uh, kind of more or less look for something to pound on it with to help give you the leverage to pull it further, pull it all the way. Okay. Uh, so we're, again, daring plus command. <coughs> Difficulty four, you presently have with Mike assisting, you have three die, three d20. So that's task plus one. Again. <coughs> again, but you also have six momentum to add in for each uh, for each extra d20, it will be uh, two mo- It'll cost you two momentum. Use two, or two two extra die. So you want to use four momentum? That's my suggestion. Get, get give him a little extra breathing room. It's a pretty tough challenge, really. Yeah. But don't we need the momentum for the challenge, guys? No, so you don't Any have... Victory? So the group momentum you can't use for the challenge dice. That's a floating momentum, right? That's mm-hmm. any, The floating momentum is what we can use, but that's based on everything over the four that we earn right now. Yeah. So if you roll five, die, um, and you get two, six, two criticals... Everything above that critical is going to be floating momentum, which is going mm-hmm. to benefit the, yeah. the challenge die. Okay, so we, we would use four momentum, and that would give us how many die to roll for this task? Total of five. That would give task you a total of five three. task plus three. Okay, so I guess we're doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jesus squeezes. Okay, one crit. crit. So that's two. What was your Direct total? Successes. 16, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, if you want to roll, re-roll one of those, so here's the thing. You have the option to re-roll one of them. You could re-roll one to get a crit if you wanted to. You have Rolling. six successes. Like you're, you're already past this task, and re-rolling one of them is not going to change that. Unless it's a 20, in which case right. there's a complication, and... <laughs> <laughs> We could only lose, right? Uh, well, no, you you could. Get no, you more. still need a sixteen or below. Yeah, yeah. You so still... sixteen or below, and it's just adding on to the six that we already have, right? You have about an eighty percent chance of. <laughs> if you were to re-roll one die, you would still get through the task, but you you risk a, a complication, but you also have the possibility if you roll below a four you have the possibility to add two more momentum. 
So it's complication. For the floating momentum. Exactly. So it's complication. So risk is complication, benefit to momentum. It's momentum. a risk reward. Mm hmm. And the, 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 for the comp to get the complication, it's, we have to roll. It has to be a 20. No, oh, it has it to has be the 20. 20. Oh, okay. What's the chance of a nat natural 20? Come oh, on, dude. One, one, one in 20. 20. <laughs> 5%, right? Is that right? I'd like to confer with my crew. Okay. What? I say roll the, the extra. Roll the extra? This is a plan sure. only Denobulan could have came up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a 5% chance of rolling a 20, right? Yeah. yeah. Sounds about 20. right. Yeah. And but, uh, you have a what is it, four, so you have a twenty percent chance of getting a critical success, yeah. and add it, being able to add two more moment or all three momentum to your pool. All right, or That's, you'll have three floating. It's only a five percent chance that the guy at the craps table going all in. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll that one d twenty then. Okay, why'd it be a twenty? Okay, so. <laughs> He's praying the, for those on the radio. The, yeah, hit the assist for 1d20. Okay. Yes! Woo! Nice! That, in case you didn't hear, was a critical. <laughs> Which so means we what, now have four. So, one, two, momentum? three, four, five, six, seven. You have three floating momentum. Nice. So, you're able to find something. You're able to grab on. You've got your leverage. Now you just need to crank that bad boy down. To send that bad that that little bugger into the sun. So he has to roll for this, right? Yes, he has to roll four challenge dice. And he needs a five. He needs yes, he needs a five. A total of five. Five to to wipe it out. Four will get you through. What would allow you to re-enter the whole task issue? Oh, look, but I we have the three floating momentum. But you have three floating momentum. Yeah. Max, I found a pry bar left over by one of the ensigns. <laughs> this should help. <laughs> okay, so four, four challenge dice. Okay. He's praying for those on the radio. No. Okay. <laughs> four challenge dice. Matter. Oh, Jesus. No. Another three, but we have three floating momentum. You have three floating momentum that you can use to bump that up to six. Boom. Or two, or just bump it up to five and stash one. This is true. Yeah. Boom. Let's bump it up to five and stash one. All right. Woo. So you find that, that pry bar that the ensigns left around, hanging nice. around. You, <laughs> you, you're struggling with it. You're still crying, like you're feeling the sweat, like it's hot down in there. The power is the power's been off, so you're starting to, you're starting to feel that oxygen. Leave sure, there's your smoke lungs. in there still. <clears throat> Sorry, and you finally feel that it give, and it goes all the way through. On Woo! top of your head, you feel this intense heat. Your and and you you start to inhale something really harsh in your throat <clears throat> the heat goes away but but what's left over is, is you're breathing in something it feels like you're sucking in sand we gotta get out of here doctor be ready to treat them when they come out Sh should I mention that I had some WD-40 in my toolkit <laughs> counseling just sign the counseling statement <laughs> Oh, I'm probably <coughs> at this point because I took a big, uh, you know, working that thing. It's going to be up to Max to get me out of there. Isn't yeah, it? I'm so, him out. so I'm actually going to say that because of the heat and the the smoke that was uh, uh, that was in there, you're going to take take some damage from the environment. Yeah. All right, sure. you're only going to take one. Yay! You lucked out. Sure. Hey, <laughs> it's good to have a buddy. Uh, okay, so you're uh, so now you guys need to raise the shields, and raising shields is going to be. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's we're gonna make it control or reason plus command or security. I have a fifteen with reason and or excuse me, engineering or security, engineering or security, not command. 
That could be me. I, I've got 15 points. Uh, Nick, what did you say you had? With reason and in, in security, I have 15. Okay. I've got my, my control and engineering is 15. My reasoning so, and engineering is 15. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say for story purposes, Mike, you were, you're still on the comms talking yeah. with him. It's going to be your job to to signal over to him to hit the uh, to hit the shields. This is going to be, and I'm going to use threat for this. So this would normally be a, t a difficulty one task. I'm going to go ahead and use three threat. This is now a difficulty four task to raise these shields. We have a solar flare hur 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 hurling at us. Yeah. Soon. So yeah, the <laughs> so. The probe has la launched off. No, difficulty for it. You don't have dice yet. Okay. <clears throat> so the pro probe is launch launched off. Scans are showing that the, the babies are leaving. <coughs> They're trailing off with it. Now you have to get the shields up before it hits the sun. We've got power. Shields. Shields. Actually, from where you are in the tube, it sounds like... <laughs> and it, it's a little hoarser, too. I think but. Max is touching him improperly. Okay, so you need four successes. Right now you only have two dice. Now, for threat, you can get one. For two momentum, you can get an extra dice. And if Saul can figure out a way where he can help, uh, I'm willing to entertain, it, uh, entertain and assist. Hmm. <laughs> quick, uh, quick question. Uh, what is the, his? Uh, he's using security. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine is a four. Uh, so, if you can come up with a different way it, it, for something you've got more power in, do you say your security is a four? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then it'll be the same task for you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what's your what's your total? Uh, it's security plus one. Uh, but uh, security plus I think I said control. Reason. Right? Did I reason. Say reason? Yeah. Control and so, reason were the two that I had heard. Okay, yeah. so so you can use reason. control or reason. Okay, I'll use uh, control, so that would be a fifteen. Okay, Beautiful. and then Nick, you're on a fifteen. Yep. Okay, so you're at three die. Okay. You need four successes. And two momentum gives me an extra die? Two momentum will give you a fourth die. Frightening right now. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, your incisive scrutiny, so if you used, uh -huh. if you switched to control instead of reason... Then uh, I drop to a 14. Ah, but you gain one bo bonus momentum. Oh, they can only be used for more information, so yeah. never mind there. Okay. Uh, hand phases, interrogation, shipboard tactics. And I'll give you shipboard tactical systems because you're trying to raise the shields. Okay. <coughs> so anything you roll uh, under a five, or five and under will be a critical success. So you have four dice. Anything mm -hmm. five and under is a crit. Do you want to buy another die? To make it five dice? Mm-hmm. And I need a 15 or below? You need a 15 below, 15 or below to get a success, and then you need four successes. Yeah, I, I think we spend that momentum. What do you guys think? Yes. It's cool. Okay. Okay. It is spent. You now have five dice. Here we go. By Grapfar's hammer. <laughs> All right. Yes. Whoa, whoa, wow. Okay, so one, two, three, four success. <laughs> you get At least it wasn't a, a 20. At least it wasn't yeah. a 20. You are able to trigger uh, the, the combined powers of the both of you. You're able to power up the... the reactor core and get up the shields just as the probe hits the sun and launches a flare right at the station square on the babies are gone you guys are 
uh, the flare hits the station and rocks it a little bit from just from the pure energy output. Uh, but you guys are fine. Shields and they hold. Commander, the shields are up and holding. Good work. Thank God, in general dynamics. <laughs> also, wow. I'm a team of. great lady down. <coughs> Now, okay. Max, you've got to get him out of that tube, right? Yeah, I've been dragging his ass out. Okay. <laughs> Watch the antenna. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You need one room. Right. But remember the pride of that. The, the cost of pride for that one. Uh, all right, so you're able to pull him out, okay? What do you guys want to do next? I think, I think Sal needs to check him out. Um, let's, yeah, that that's definitely neat. We need to do that. I also think that we need to hail the Tapau um, and uh, move the station away from the sun. <laughs> I think that's our to-do list, or my to-do list. Okay. What do you guys I'll think? Do full medical evaluation on uh, the commander and uh, let uh, Max and uh, Cherek do... Uh, Everything we need to do with ops while holding the station away. I walk okay. over to uh, Max and I extend my hand. That was outstanding thinking, Commander. I'm just glad it worked. <laughs> Don't wait. Okay, so you, you do a medical scan. He's oh, uh, the Commander's okay. He'll he will survive. He's a little worse for wear. His lungs are scratched up from the smoke that he inhaled. Uh, that was the propellant that launched the probe. Uh, and being in those confined quarters with the the lack of oxygen and all the combination, he's he's banged up on the inside, but he should be fine. There's uh, thing. <coughs> I oh, want your feet. You're, you're skyping. There's <coughs> yeah, we're losing you. We're losing you, Mario. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. How about now? Yes. Yes. Okay, I don't know. I don't. Apparently, if I'm below a certain input volume on, it doesn't uh, it, pick. It you all little hee Okay. <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Okay. Got a power to the deflector dish. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys are all safe. Everybody's happy. Well, so for the we most need part. to hail the t the, the t -pow. Okay, so that's the next thing. Max, get on the station comms. Max to to pal. Uh, so you're gonna have to go. You'll have to oh. uh, turbo lift up to ops. All right. So taking the turbo lift. Okay. You head up to ops. Turbo lift. Turbo lift. Turbo lift. Turbo lift. Listening to Muzak. <laughs> so. So you arrive on him like in the Blues Brothers, just standing there, staring straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you um, station is the one with Picasso, to, right? You get up to ops, and as soon as the doors open, Whoosh. there is uh, Commander Johansson, looking none too plussed about the whole idea. What did you do to my station? Saved it. It survived, and the the power levels are on the rise, and the drain is no longer bothered. So I think I saved your shit. <laughs> oh wow, that's a great way to say. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you, Lieutenant. I don't know how things, Lieutenant Commander. I don't. I don't know how things work on your ship, but uh, we respect rank around here, sir. <laughs> this does not surprise me from Captain Ma's crew. Oh, uh, I would like to use your conversation to hell the top up. By all means, anything to get you get you off my ship, off my station. Ungrateful bastard. <clears throat> okay, next so. to how? <clears throat> Tarek went with him, right? <laughs> I think Jarek. I don't know. Did Jarek go with him? 
Yeah. Jerv. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to be less than two. <laughs> yeah. This place. Yeah. Uh, now a turbo lift's fallen. <laughs> uh, this is Tapao. Uh, how, how's the ship doing? Really? Yeah. That's your first question? <laughs> yeah, I'm the engineer. Of course it's my first question. What are you, calling your mother? <laughs> how was the roast beef? Was it good? <laughs> well, well, Commander, we uh, we got hit pretty hard by a, a solar flare that our sensors seem to show uh probe coming from the station caused uh would have been nice to get a little bit of warning about that before uh before y'all just shot something up and uh put us at risk it could not be helped we had lost comms and we needed to act fast because the station was quite literally dying um but uh, we we came through. We've saved the station. We've uh, we 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 saved the the life forms that were inside the station, causing the power drain. Oh, by the way, there's power. <laughs> there's alien life forms in the star. <laughs> the the hell you say that there's? I don't uh, understand. None of our scans are picking up anything. They're they're out of phase. Uh, so uh, that that's kind of why normal scans don't pick them up. Uh, some Jerv, I think, has the, 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 the frequency. He can get that to you at some point. Sir, this uh, is Jerv. <laughs> go, go. go ahead, Commander. I would like to credit Commander Max for his outside-the-box thinking, and we can debrief you when we get back. But it seems Commander Johansson no longer would like us on his station after we saved it. What is it? Were y'all rude about it? Because we I know he's real. I know he's real sensitive about about how how folks treat him, sir. Believe it or not, we were not. All right. Well, I trust your judgment. I look look forward to. Sir, we captain, we can debrief you in person. I, I sounds like a plan. I uh, Kings to Queens level three. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain, um, I I would before we depart the station. I would like to confer with uh, Commander Johansson um, to find out if he needs Tapau's assistance to help him move the station to a uh, better orbit, uh, uh, further away from the star. Well, it, it sounds like uh, it sounds like something we can we could probably offer him if he, if you'd be so kind. Uh, to go ahead and ask him if if y'all want to do that, and uh, y'all want us to, y'all want to, are y'all heading to us or are you want us to come pick y'all up? We're not exact. Uh, Thanir to Captain Mop. Holy hell, Commander! You sound like garbage. Well, let's just say things were a little touch and go. <clears throat> my goodness, this is gonna be some report. Uh, it'll all be in my report, sir. Uh, but yes, the Douglas is may be in a little worse for wear. It's probably best to transport out. All right. So, sounds like a plan, Commander. We'll uh, we'll head, set in course and head your way. Anything else y'all have for me? Um, Please have sick bay ready for the Commander when we get back, sir. I'm fine. Although, I, my antenna I hurt. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, Commander. We'll, uh, we'll hit on Head on your way. Why is this even? <coughs> Commander and... Johansson. Yes. Will you need assistance moving the station to a higher orbit away from the star? The Tapau is standing by if you need assistance. Well, it's not like we have thrusters on this thing. Very well. So I'm going to hail um, the Tapau once again. Commander, may I ask you a question? Wait, okay, who's talking? At one one person at a time. I can only do one voice at a time. Jerv, <laughs> go first. <laughs> okay. Commander, a question? Uh, Commander Johansson, I assume? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes? Sir, pardon me if I seem out of a line, but you seem reluctant to accept our assistance. May I ask why? Well, the the level of stress 
you have put this station through, the level of risk you put my station and my command at, uh, and the level of respect uh, this crew has given me is, is, and the level of respect I've received from command from Captain Ma in the past, I, beyond frustrating to say the least. Commander, if you would do me a favor and put your ego aside, we just saved your station. That that's that's enough out of you, Lieutenant Commander. Thank you very much. Uh, please feel free to escort yourself down to uh, down to the the shuttle cra shuttle area, or the shuttle bay. And, My pleasure, uh, Commander Peters. Wait for your deembarkation. De all right, so I'm going to go ahead and hail the maw one more time. Captain Ma? Uh, Captain, um, can you slap a, a tractor beam on, 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 this, on this hunk of junk and, get, and tow it to a higher orbit? Uh, we sure can. Thank you, There, sir. Max, that, that shouldn't be an issue. You, everything, all, everything all right with uh, Commander Johansson? He, he's, he's signed off on this? He signed off on it, and we will be standing by for transport. Reluctantly. Roger that. We're, we're on our way. And with that, we fade to black, and the music plays. Packlet. That was, that was fun.